we're going to go check out what's here. Is this there? Yeah, this is the... The scooter's tire is bogged down in the sand. It's impossible to go any further. So we have to go back to Fennec City. And now this lady will talk to us. Okay, so we got an email from Net. This does go along with the story, don't worry. We gotta go to Pirate Town. Go visit Net. And I actually forgot to get a TM. <laughs> it's actually a pretty easy one to find, but it's not here. It's uh, in Agate Village, but it's a pretty crappy TM, so I'm not gonna go get it. It's Bullet Seed. And as you all know, Bullet Seed is a bad move. Unless you have Stab, and it's quadruple effective, and you have a Miracle Seed or anything that boosts grass type attacks. That's when it will be game. I love the music to this. find in this game. You don't catch it, but... Uh, yeah. There's only two Pokemon from the 4th gen that you find in this game. You can't catch either of them. They are Munchlax and, uh, Bonsly, which we're, uh, going to find right now. But, uh, the only way to find Munchlax is to um, put Poke Snacks down at the Poke Spots, and it's just luck to manage to find it there. I mean, it's pretty rare to find it. There's like a one out of five chance that you're going, a one out of four chance that you're going to find it. To the fact that you can only find three Pokemon at each Poke Spot. So yeah, you only have like a 25% chance of finding that bunch of legs. I just realized that I never used those Moo Moo Milks that I had. <laughs> So now we gotta go to Gadeon Port again. Good times at Gadeon Port. Jovi got pushed down. It's hilarious. We met Zook. Zook Zook. Uh, yeah. Now we gotta go find Purr. Run, William. You know what? Scratch that for a sec. I heard that you actually got a TM from this guy. Hey, you, battle me. What? What cruiser? There's a sailor here that I have to battle, and... Uh, never mind. It gives me a crappy TM anyway. You get a bunch of crappy TMs. Hey, Purr! Hey, we're on TV! So that's pretty much just, uh, the video footage of us Kicking the crap out of Snaddle.
So we need to go back to Dr. Kaminko. That crazy ass place. What the? What? Oh no, the creepy guys! Oh my my, I haven't seen you for a while. You're not Santa, stop saying ho ho ho. Which no me, I got them ho ho ho's. Ah ha ha ha. Just kidding. Uh, I'm the, I'm quite the unlikable guy. Mainly because of who lives here. You know what? I'm actually gonna switch uh, my drug dealer with Jane. Wait, who goes there? Chobin! Good to see you. I don't like you, but it's good to see you. So Chauvin always thinks that we're a burglar. I don't know why, but... Chauvin, you're weird. And he's new and improved. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Well, he's sort of... He's still got that stupid sun current, but he's got a Gyarados! That's why I brought in Jane. Because Jane's a badass. And plus, Jane has Shockwave. Wow, level 26. Oh my. So the Gyarados is going to go for the bite. But that does only 10 damage to Jane. Jane's a tank. And that doesn't even take out the Gyarados. Wow. Maybe an Icy Wind will do it? Takes out the... That doesn't even take out a Sunkern? Literally the worst Pokemon in the game. Sun Curtain's going for the ingrain. Get some HP back. Sun Curtain goes down. We get like no experience for that. Because Sun Curtain is the worst Pokemon. It's got the worst base stats, even Sunflora. I do not recommend using a Sun Current. They're just terrible. I mean, I'll catch it just to put it in my Pokedex, but yeah. And we actually got a lot of experience there. Mainly because of that Gyarados. Chobin, what is the meaning of all your shouting? Dr. Kaminko got them weird pants on. Oh, the Robo Groudon. They still think I'm a burglar. They're stupid. So he's going to talk about the Robo Groudon. They think that it's a battling machine. Chauvin operates it, and they think that it's going to miraculously beat me in a battle. So 
they think he's scary. Robo Groudon Chauvin would like to battle. And I'd like to beat your ass in a battle. So he just miraculously gets a, a sunstone. Just gets that some flora out of nowhere. Doesn't make any sense. But that's Pokemon. And he gets two more Pokemon. This game is just so weird. He's following the usual tactic. He's going for the bite. Trying to scare me. I go for the shockwave, because I'm a boss, and that almost takes out the crowd on again. Hopefully we got a crit or something. That does nothing to some flora. It's weird. Looks like we're going to have to take out this sun flora with the jank. So this guy, Jobin likes to use uh, grass type Pokemon, mainly. Um, sludge and bite. Plus, I believe all of his grass Pokemon have the chlorophyll ability. And yet, his sun flora doesn't even die to a sludge. But, the Gyarados does go down. That's awesome. Jane gets to level 29. 102 health. Then he sends out a hop hip. Hip, hop, hip to the hip. Uh, I'm just gonna stop right now. This looks like a perfect time to go for the um, icy wind. Because I know what's good. Seriously, I do. And this hop hip is faster than me. And he seeds Meneki. That's not cool. But some floor is going down. You think you're so cool because you just evolved immediately? I don't think so. It sends out a Tropius. And the best thing about Icy Wing is that it's quadruple effective on both of you. And you're getting slower and slower. And it takes out the Hobbit. Wow. And Jane, that, not Jane, Meneki's level 28, and we're learning Crunch! Yes! Get rid of Bikes. I'm gonna go for a Shockwave, because I want to see if Crunch will actually kill this Tropius. I think Crunch might kill it. Oh god. Stump. He gets a crit on my snow hat. My Meneki. Doesn't even kill it. Darn. But, well, we can always kill this thing with an icy wind or a sludge. And that Tropius goes down. We defeat the Robo Groudon. Oh yeah. Chauvin lost. Lost with Robo Groudon. Chauvin lost. Oh, I'm sorry, Chauvin. But I had to. It's Willie! Chauvin's acquaintance? What? The Robo Kyogre is another Robo Legendary that we will be using.
and those doors just magically open. Don't know how it's possible, but that's what happens. So Choppin wants our phone number. It's really creepy. But we're going to go find Mackin, the old dude at the parts shop, in the next episode.